Hi everyone, you're watching True Scoop and I'm Parana. The Shara is one of the major festivals of India that symbolizes good over evil. The pandemic has also in turn to be another Ravan with the 10 evil heads and the world is struggling hard to win over these evils. So let's talk about those 10 pandemical evil heads on this The Shara. First one is mental health. Due to the lockdown, people were locked up inside the houses which led to more of anxiety and depression. Initially, the pandemic was about the physical concern brought by the virus, but the wave of mental health concerns across the population increased. According to the Indian Psychiatric Society, by May, we had seen a 20% rise in cases of mental health. Mental health issues are still at its peak. On 1st October 2020, the Centre for Mental Health charity published its prediction that up to 10 million people, which is almost 20% of the population, will need either new or additional mental health support as a direct consequence of the pandemic. AQI During the total lockdown, air quality index was improved and people could breathe fresh air. But as the unlocking began, AQI turned out to be very poor. Delhi, Noida and Gurugram face difficulties in breathing as the AQI comes under the very poor category. Shrinking GDP The pandemic has left almost every industry and almost every Indian battered. The per capita gross domestic product of our nation is expected to be $1,900, which last year was $2,104. However, the International Monetary Fund sees the per capita GDP of India lagging behind so much that even the neighbouring country Bangladesh will have more per capita GDP by this year end. But the Reserve Bank of India claims that the nation is at the doorstep of recovery. All in all, uncertain times with hopes and concerns await Indians in this festive season. Unemployment India's unemployment rate shoot up due to the pandemic. People lost jobs which also affected their mental health, while some worked from home at a lower salary. India's unemployment rate was at its peak in April 2020. It was 23.5 percentile. An estimated 12.2 crore people have lost their jobs, out of which 41 lakh youth lost their jobs. In September, India's unemployment rate decreased to 6.67 percent. Cybercrime. During this period, all the private as well as government offices have remained closed and most employees were working from home, making security the next major concern. Security of companies was at stake such as financial information, trade secrets and other confidential information. Cybercrime has increased over these months, thus personal information of an individual was also at risk. India now ranks 27th globally in the number of web threats in 2020. Earlier, it was on the 32nd position in 2019. Domestic Violence The UN has said that pandemic will lead to worldwide increase in domestic abuse as many people are trapped at home with their abuser. Domestic violence cases have increased by 20% during the lockdown. Between March 1 and September 18, the National Women's Commission has received 4,350 complaints through email, phone and a dedicated WhatsApp number during the period when the country was battling with the pandemic, with Uttar Pradesh and Delhi topping the list. Increased cases of rape. This was considered as the second and a silent pandemic. The pandemic has emptied the streets, making women more unsafe. 
According to the National Commission of Women, the month of June alone saw the registration of 194 cases against sexual harassment and molestation. The monthly figures were the highest this year. On April 18, a 17-year-old girl in Madhya Pradesh was abducted and raped while she was on her way to a hospital. A woman in Rajasthan was gang raped by three men in a school where she had been quarantined. Hunger Index The Global Hunger Index 2020 has ranked India in the serious hunger category, placing it at 94 out of 107 countries, much behind Bangladesh, Pakistan and Nepal. One of the reasons behind battling hunger is that the occupation a section of people are engaged in is not remunerative enough to buy adequate food. Income of one section of people has been on the decline. This had adverse effects on their capacity to buy adequate food, especially when food prices have been on the rise. Inflation. Inflation has also increased during the pandemic. In April, the month when lockdown was at its peak, the consumer price index rose to 151.4 from 148.6 in March. In May, the index eased to 150.9, but in June, the index was at 151.6. indicating a rise of 6.09% on an annual basis not only this inflation in rural areas was higher through the first quarter led by higher food prices exodus of migrants indian migrant workers during the pandemic have faced multiple hardships with factories and workplaces shut down due to the lockdown imposed in the country millions of migrant workers had to deal with the loss of income food shortages an uncertainty about their future while the government didn't help them they decided to help themselves on their own and the migrants started going back to their hometown with no means of transport due to the lockdown more than 300 migrant workers died due to the lockdown with reasons ranging from starvation suicides exhaustion road and rail accidents police brutality and denial of timely medical care In May a 15 year old girl carried her father on a bicycle for 1200 kilometers from Bihar to Gurugram over the course of a week. As this year ends we hope everything gets back to normal. Let's try our level best to kill as many evils as possible.